Calling the roll, Ms. Simon? Here. Ms. Baker? Here. Mr. Miller? Here. Mr. Tuma? Here. Mr. Gallagher? Here. Mr. Schron? Here. Ms. Conwell? Present. Mr. Jones? Here. Ms. Brown? Here. Ms. Stevens? Present. Council President Brady? Present. You have a quorum. Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Any public comment? Yes, Mr. President, uh, Christina Keegan. Okay, do we just do this? Hi, uh, thank you. My name is Christina Keegan. Uh, I'd like to add to my comment earlier from uh, the Committee of the Whole. Uh, I'm commenting on Ordinance uh, 2019-0001, the uh, County Housing Program, uh, which reorganizes the County Land Bank um, towards a policy uh, and practice of raising home values by utilizing uh, land and housing um, in, their, in their possession. So I, I did want to add a little bit about my my story because um, it speaks to my um, involvement in housing in in the community. Um, I have worked with families in my neighborhood uh, who are, have been facing displacement uh, for the last five years and and seen firsthand the devastating effects of displacement and gentrification in our community, uh, very much related to the uh, choices that uh, we as a community, particularly in the nonprofit world and the County Land Bank have made uh, around our priorities, priorities for what we can do in response to the foreclosure crisis. So 10 years in, um, we have results like my story. Uh, so I was renting in the neighborhood for um, uh, several years, decided to buy and worked with the local community development corporation to acquire my house. Um, while I was walking through the neighborhood with the housing director uh, at the time of our local community development corporation, I was told that um, the it was the organization's job to push out undesirable residents and bring more desirable residents in. I was told that my, my boyfriend and I, um, we were the right type of residents for that neighborhood. And so uh, that we would get help getting a house. Um, so obviously there's an issue of who gets to decide who's a desirable resident and who's not. Um, but what we're really looking at is a, uh, a systematic problem in which our county housing programs, our local housing programs, are judged on how, uh, how much they raise housing prices. This is the primary metric we're looking at. Um, and how much those prices um, can be raised uh, essentially at all costs. So I, I want to say that obviously um, building wealth in um, black communities in particular that have been um, extremely devastated by the foreclosure crisis and most impacted um, over the last 10 years uh, is incredibly important, but we as a broader community in both Cleveland and the inner ring suburbs, uh, the rest of the county, uh, I think that we can do better than uh, deciding that raising housing prices is our metric. Um, what I see in this legislation, uh, particularly in sections one uh, on housing rehabilitation and section three on housing markets, is a continued policy of saying that raising prices is, is the metric that we're going for. What I don't see is any discussion of affordability, any discussion of community control of decision making about how we revitalize our communities. I urge County Council to uh, take time, uh, ideally over the next few months, to include a robust community involvement process so we can discuss together how we want to take our next steps in revitalizing our neighborhoods and making the most of the assets and the power that the uh, County Land Bank does have. Thank you. Anybody else? Ms. Lou? This is the rerun of an earlier meeting. Good evening. Good evening. Happy New Year's for everybody. Um, earlier, a little bit after 3 o'clock, I did uh, come here to tell you about some of the incidents just happened, including what actually happened to me. And I also introduced the awareness on our community, the population of the people who can only have a very few choices to go around. 
either they have to sleep outside somewhere under a bridge in an abandoned building, or they will have to be in the county jail, maybe homeless shelter, maybe whatever treatment centers. So we are the undesirable people, but we have been the product of the this society produced us as we are. So uh, back in uh, December 11th, 2018, we had lots of people coming here. Two gentlemen actually called out Chantel Brown, saying she may be a nice person, but she's no leader. However, who's the leader in today's world, right? Well, maybe she's sitting up there just because she's young and pretty. Uh, right now, that reminds me of uh, anti-discrimination uh, uh, county ordinance. You know, just because she's being a female, so she has to be called names like that. So now, who's the leader here? We don't know for sure. But I know all of you here, even up there, you are actually making efforts. Last year, you put out good things trying to prevent prob more problems in the future. So instead of only asking what county has been done for you, probably at the same time, we should ask ourselves, what can we do for the county, right? So here I am. Uh, New Year's resolutions introduced by Lou. For first reading adaptation under suspension of rules, 2019-000X. This is a, re a resolution to authorize a pilot permanent relocation of Norma Hill sh Women's Shelter, also followed by all those problematic drug treatment centers, mental health treatment centers, group homes, and all these things, uh, you know, undesirable, to into county jail. In the dollar amount not, re not pr uh, exceeding uh, zero dollar zero cents for the time period of from today on to infinity and beyond. Uh, any objection? I guess not, because people don't like homeless people, people don't like criminals, people don't like people in any addiction anyway, right? So if we are in the county jail, actually that's an upgrade, and you will know, know exactly how many die, so we can actually say we decrease all these populations, correct? So everybody say yes, yes, No, no nobody will say no about it. So thank you very much, this resolution adopted. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> Happy New Year. Okay, anybody else? No, Mr. President. All right, very good. Um, can I have a motion to approve the minutes as printed on the agenda for December the 20th, 2018 special meeting and January 2nd, 2019 organizational meeting? And moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, ayes have it. The minutes have been approved. Is there a message from the county executive? No message tonight. Thank you. Right. Legislation introduced by council. Consideration of resolutions of council for first reading adoption under suspension of the rules. Could I have a motion to suspend the rules? Mr. President, I move to suspend the rules. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, the ayes have it. The rules have been suspended. Resolution number 2019-0002, authorizing an amendment to contract number CE-1800-189 with MITA Marketing for Professional Communication Services for the period December 1, 2017 through December 31, 2018 to extend the time period to December 31, 2019 and for additional funds in the amount not to exceed $30,000. Motion to adopt, second, been moved and seconded. Um, if there's any discussion on this, we can have uh, staff come up and, um, um, and explain it. Uh, why, don't, why, don't, why don't we just come up and, since I've said that, it begs the question, doesn't it? So. Good afternoon, County Council Trevor Mackler, County Council staff. Before you today for first reading adoption consideration <coughs> is the contract amendment with MITA Marketing. The monthly rate uh, stays the same as it was in 2018. It's a per monthly fee. It's a 12 month contract. And uh, Mary Ann Sharkey, who is the CEO of MITA Marketing has agreed to uh, continue on board if that's what council would like. Any questions about this contract with uh, Mary Ann Sharkey? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, the ayes have it, the resolution's adopted. 
Resolution number 2019-0003, authorizing the Cuyahoga County Solid Waste District's purchase of property located at 4750 East 131st Street, Garfield Heights. Adopt. Second. Uh, this was discussed, obviously, in the uh, executive uh, session. Um, comments were made there quite, but that would be my guess. Uh, if I could just... Um, you were advocating uh, aggressively last month that we do something about this, and so... So, thank you, um, <laughs> Council President. This is time-sensitive in that the uh, deal to purchase the property by um, the Solid Waste District is um, on the table, and in the long run, this is going to save a lot of money um, to the district in terms of purchasing this built-out space versus renting it over time, and, and time is of the essence and ask for Council support. And you're a member of the board, correct? Yes. Yes. Just to remind everybody. Okay. Any other questions? All those. I'd like to add my name. Add Councilman Jones's name. It's in his district. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, the ayes have it. The resolution is adopted. Consideration of a resolution of council for first reading and referral to committee. Resolution number 2019-0004, adopting various changes to the Cuyahoga County non-bargaining classification plan. And this will be referred to human resources. Consideration of an ordinance of council for first reading and referral to committee. Ordinance number 2019-0001, enacting chapter 809 and amending section 704.01 of the Cuyahoga County Code to establish the Cuyahoga County Housing Program. Additionally, Mr. President, Council Member Stevens has requested to be a primary sponsor to this uh, legislation. Thank you. This will be referred to Community Development Committee. In legislation introduced by the executive consideration of resolutions for first reading adoption under suspension of rules. Could I have a motion to suspend the rules? Mr. President, I move to suspend the rules. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Ayes have it. The rules have been suspended. Resolution number 2019-0005, amending resolution number 2017-0197, dated November 28, 2017, which confirmed the county executive's appointment of various individuals to serve on the Cuyahoga County Archives Advisory Commission by changing the term for two commission members from December 1, 2017 through November 30, 2021 to November, or, excuse me, December 1, 2017 through November 30, 2019. Move to adopt. Uh, we've been moved and seconded. Are there any questions about these appointments? We have uh, Ms. Pomerantz here to um, answer any questions if there are any. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. All those opposed? Ayes have it. Resolution is adopted. Resolution number 2019-0006, amending the 2018-2019 biennial operating budget for 2019 by providing for additional fiscal appropriations for appropriation transfers and for cash transfers. Move to adopt. Second. Mr. President, my colleagues, this is the standard monthly fiscal ad agenda. It does not contain budget and balancing items for the 2019 budget, which will come later. Questions were asked of OBM and answered to our satisfaction. The questions and answers are on your desks. Besides the grant appropriations, transfers, and other routine elements, several items stand out. Appropriation changes are made to account for the pay equity adjustments provided in 2018. $7.55 million is appropriated for the Bedford Jail Project. This item was not anticipated in the 2018 to 19 biennial budget. However, the expenditure was previously approved last year. $1.66 million is appropriated to implement the expert panel recommendations on child welfare. Primarily the hiring of 12 additional social workers and 10 retired law enforcement officers, plus additional funding for the neighborhood, neighborhood collaboratives. $3.46 million in additional funding is appropriated for DCFS. Their budget was reduced by $2 million in the 2018 to 19 biennial budget. However, the reductions were not able to be realized and additional funding was required primarily for overtime costs 
related to the expansion of the number of children in county custody. $2.5 million was appropriated for two previously approved economic development projects, $2 million for church and state, and $500,000 for Fairmont Santal. $1.6 million is appropriated for the purchase of the Solid Waste Center, which we discussed today. $673,000 in the general fund and $327,000 in HHS are transferred into the 27th payroll fund to enable the county to handle years that have a 27th payroll without having to deal with a major episodic cost increase. That does not occur this year. It will be in a future year. There are a couple of significant reductions. Debt service costs overall came in less than budgeted, allowing appropriation adjustments, which are a reduction in the aggregate. Also, appropriations for developmental disabilities are reduced by $9.1 million, reflecting their approved 2019 budget. I recommend approval on first reading suspension. All right. Is there um, a motion? Do you have a proposed um, amendment? Yes. Uh, there is a uh, proposed amendment. And the amendment would add $800,000 for the project management consultant for the owner's representative services, which we dis discussed today at the Committee of the Whole. And so I move to amend by adding that item as item number BX under appropriations. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on the proposed amendment? Uh, hearing none, all those in favor of accepting the proposed amendment, uh, aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. The um, <clears throat> amendment is accepted. Any further discussion? All those in favor of adopting the resolution on its merits as amended, say aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. Resolution is adopted. Thank you, Councilman <coughs> Miller. Resolution number 2019-0007, approving a collective bargaining agreement between Cuyahoga County and United Automobile, Aerospace, and Agricultural Implement Workers of America, Region 2B, Local 70, representing approximately 42 employees in the classification of Correction Officer Corporal at the Sheriff's Department for the period January 1, 2018 through December 31, 2020. This was discussed during the Executive Committee. Um, second, moved and seconded. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed, the ayes have it. The resolution is adopted. Resolution number 2019-0008, approving a collective bargaining agreement between Cuyahoga County and International Union of Operating Engineers, Local 18, representing approximately eight employees in the classification of heavy machine operator and construction backhoe operator at the Department of Public Works for the period January 1, 2019 through December 31, 2021. Move to adopt. Second. Moved and seconded. This was also discussed in the executive committee. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Resolutions adopted. Consideration of resolutions for first reading and referral to committee. Resolution number 2019-0009, confirming the county executive's appointment of Carlin N. Culbertson to serve on the Child Abuse and Child Neglect Regional Prevention Council of the Ohio Children's Trust Fund, representing the Great Lakes region for an unexpired term ending May 25, 2020. And we'll refer this to Human Resources. Resolution number 2019-0010, confirming the county executive's appointment of John M. Hairston, Jr. to serve on the Metro Health System Board of Trustees for an unexpired term ending February 28, 2021. This will also go to HR. Resolution number 2019-0011, confirming the county executive's appointment of Pamela K. Jankowski to serve on the City of Cleveland, Cuyahoga County Workforce Development Board for an unexpired term ending June 30, 2021. HR and appointments. 
Resolution number 2019-0012, confirming the county executive's reappointment of various individuals to serve on the Cuyahoga County Corrections Planning Board for an unexpired term ending January 1, 2022, is printed on the agenda. This will go to HR and appointments as well. Resolution number 2019-0013, confirming the county executive's reappointment of Keith J. Libman to serve on the Cuyahoga County Audit Committee for an unexpired term ending December 31, 2022. This will also go to HR. Resolution number 2019-0014, approving a right-of-way exhibit for Adele Lane Culvert number 00.04 between Crestwood Drive and Fitch Road in Olmstead Township, authorizing the county executive through the Department of Public Works to acquire said necessary rights-of-way, finding that special assessments will neither be levied nor collected to pay for any part of the county's costs of said improvement. So we'll go to Public Works. Resolution number 2019-0015, approving a right-of-way exhibit for Westwood Lane Culvert number 00.08 between Crestwood Drive and Fitch Road in Olmstead Township, authorizing the county executive through the Department of Public Works to acquire said necessary rights-of-way, finding that special assessments will neither be levied nor collected to pay for any part of the county's costs of said improvement. This will also go to Public Works. Resolution number 2019-0016, declaring that public convenience and welfare requires resurfacing West 130th Street from Bagley Road to Snow Road in the cities of Brook Park, Middleburg Heights, Parma, and Parma Heights. Toll estimated project cost $7,274,000, finding that special assessments will neither be levied nor collected to pay for any part of the county's costs of said improvement. Public Works. Mr. President. Yes, Councilor. I would like my name added, please. Is that Councilman Miller's name? Mr. President, Zero if you could add my name as well, please. Okay. I'll also <laughs> add Councilman Tuma's name. <laughs> Got it. Resolution number 2019-0017, declaring that public convenience and welfare requires resurfacing Ridge Road from Memphis Avenue to Denison Avenue in the cities of Brooklyn and Cleveland. Total estimated project cost $2,121,800. Finding that special assessments will neither be levied nor collected to pay for any part of the county's cost of said improvement. And this will be referred to public works, but I want it to include my name. <laughs> Resolution number 2019-0018, declaring that public convenience and welfare requires resurfacing Brainerd Road from Cedar Road to Wilson Mills Road in the cities of Highland Heights and Lyndhurst. Toll estimated project cost $3,708,286, finding that special assessments will neither be levied nor collected to pay for any part of the cost, the county's costs of said improvement. Public Works. Can I add my name? Yeah. Councilman Simon's name. Resolution number 2019-0019, making an award on requisition number 42514 to TEC Communications Incorporated in the amount not to exceed $590,330.26 for Wide Area Network SmartNet Maintenance Services for the period January 1, 2019 through December 31, 2021. Refer to finance and budgeting. Resolution number 2019-0020, making an award on requisition number 42515 to TEC Communications Incorporated in the amount not to exceed $1,813,920 for network professional services for the period January 1, 2019 through December 31, 2023. Refer to finance. Resolution number 2019-0021, making awards on requisition number 42713 to various providers in the total amount not to exceed $3,600,000 for traditional residential treatment services for the period February 1, 2019 through January 31, 2021 with the providers as printed on the agenda. So referred to public safety. Resolution number 2019-0022, authorizing an amendment to a master contract with various providers for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program to Skills Program for the period August 6, 2018 through September 30, 2018, to extend the time period to September 30, 2019, and for additional funds in the total amount not to exceed $1,771,626.06 with the providers as printed on the agenda. And this will go to Health and Human Services. 
Consideration of a resolution for second reading adoption under suspension of rules. Could I have a motion to suspend the rules? Mr. President, I move to suspend the rules. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, the ayes have it. <clears throat> rules have been suspended. Resolution number 2018-0264, approving a proposed settlement in the matter of state, ex rel James Connell et al. versus City of North Olmsted et al. Cuyahoga County Common Pleas Court Case Number CV1584805. Moved to adopt. Second. And moved and seconded. This was discussed uh, <coughs> a couple of times in executive session. Uh, if there's no further discussion, all those, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, the ayes have it. Resolution is adopted. Consideration of resolution for third reading adoption. Resolution number 2018-0007, making an award on requisition number 40411 to project management consultants in the amount not to exceed $800,000 for owner's representative services in connection with the Justice Center Complex Project for the period February 1, 2018 through January 31, 2020. A second. Um, this item was uh, discussed in the um, Committee of the Whole. Um, we have a uh, proposed substitute on page 306, but all it refers to are the dates. Uh, as you know, we're about a year behind uh, or from when we started. So the new dates are from January of this year till the end of this year, as opposed to uh, last year, I mean, to 20, rather. Um, I, I moved uh, I moved to accept the proposed substitute. So moved. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, the ayes have it. The proposed substitute is accepted. Um, any further discussion? All those in favor of adopting? Mr. The, President? Yes, can I Can I say one thing? I'm sorry, surely, I was the committee of the whole meeting, and yeah. I understand things have, um, the time is um, going to be the whole term of the contract brings us later to a later date to, to get some of the changes made. But one of the items that I see is going to be addressed is the um, access to counsel, access to justice. And I, I have a particular interest in seeing that this gets addressed during or before the end of this consulting contract. And I'm going to work, ask um, the chair of safety if, if he will indulge me with maybe having a, another committee meeting on this. I, I know we've heard it before that attorneys, criminal defense lawyers have come up and said that they have difficulty getting in to see their clients throughout the day and at the Justice Center. And, and that's been something that's been a, you know, spoken to us about in the past, and it's not changing significantly, if at all. And I don't want to have the, you know, wait all this time um, for this consulting contract to, to come with some conclusion and wanted just to bring that up, that that's something I'd like to see sooner than later that um, if I can work Councilwoman, with Councilwoman, that's fine. Your point's well made. We had a, we did, you know, um, have a, a discussion and several people brought up the fact that, oh, they, wa that they wanted, you know, reporting uh, as we went along. And you've, okay. you've discussed it more specifically than that, but, but, we, but we are- we're Okay, the same perfect. Way. Thanks we're, for, we're I, on this on. is just an area that I, I would like to see um, if we have a metric that everybody else has wants, this needs to be at one of the top issues, in my opinion. Thank Thanks, you. sorry. I wasn't here earlier. Councilman. Madam Councilwoman, uh, being sensitive to the needs of uh, those that serve justice is going to be very important. Thank you. All right. Very good. Um, all those in favor of adopting the resolution on its merits as substituted, say aye. 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 All those opposed, the ayes have it. And, one, and Councilwoman Brown abstains. Okay. Um, all right. Legislation is adopted. Resolution number 2018-0236, authorizing an amendment to contract number CE-1800-178 with Schwartz Uniform Corporation for correction officer, corporal, and sergeant uniforms for the period March 19, 2018 through March 18, 2021 to extend the time period to December 31, 2021 and for additional funds in the amount not to exceed $570,000. Second. Any, ex any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed, the ayes have it. The resolution is adopted. 
Resolution number 2018-0238, authorizing an amendment to contract number CE-1700-241 with Child Care Resource Center of Cuyahoga County doing business as starting point for out-of-school time services for youth for the period January 1, 2018 through December 31, 2018 to extend the time period to December 31, 2019 and for additional funds in the amount not to exceed $1,645,000. Second. Second. <clears throat> Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, the ayes have it. The resolution is adopted. Uh, miscellaneous committee reports, if anybody's ready yet, and there's a lot of it. Uh, yes, thank you, President. The uh, Council Operations, Intergovernmental Relations, and Public Transportation Committee will be meeting uh, next Tuesday, January 15th at 3 o'clock. Mr. President and my colleagues, the Finance and Budget Committee will meet at our regularly scheduled time on Monday the 14th at 1 p.m. to discuss the three items of legislation that were introduced tonight and at the last meeting and referred to Finance and Budget. And we'll also meet on Monday, January 28th at 1 p.m., also our regular time for the quarterly ERP report. And also, there will be a committee of the whole presentation from our consultant, Zig Bersons, on Thursday, January 31st at 10 a.m. regarding the ERP project. Thank you. Mr. President, um, Mr. President um, Public Works will be uh, meeting on Wednesday, January 16th at its regularly scheduled time. We'll see 1 o'clock Tuesday. Community Development Committee meeting will meet on the 14th at 10 a.m. to discuss items referred today. Human Resources, Equities, and Employment will meet at January 15th at 10 o'clock to discuss items referred. That's right. That's done. Okay. Anything else? Any miscellaneous business? Hearing none. Happy New Year. One last time. We're adjourned.